I can wait until I can put this hat on and go out in the sunshine because it's cold as a mm, outside now but I guess because it is winter huh well happy new year and welcome to keeping it real with Syl I'm Syl and you know I know that I always say I'm going to keep this up then I get busy and I end up not doing it and people always asking me when are we going to see another keeping it real with Syl and as you see I was too lazy right now to even go downstairs to my little area that I usually film I'm in my boudoir well it's not so much as being lazy but you know my I have a I, I have a few mobility issues right now so I am in my boudoir but anyway I have been talking to people people have been asking me about keeping it real with Syl and where was it when's it coming back I am going to try my best this year to be more consistent than I have been in the past it will also help me with my acting career it will keep me on tape more it will help me with my diction my pronunciations it will just it will help me so it'll be like an exercise for me but I'll also share it with you now I need people to ask me questions so that we can have topics that we'll talk about and I hope to have other people come in and we have discussions with not just me up here talking all the time but I want a roundtable discussion or you know like a a um, host kind of uh, thing where I have a guest star and we talk about certain subjects I need you to email me or call me or text me those of you who know me and know the number with your questions because keeping it real with seal is going to be real it's not going to be politically correct because it takes me too much thinking and too much time to say well am I gonna offend somebody let me how should I word this you know I don't have time for that okay we're keeping it real if you are super sensitive and get offended easily and all of that then you have the option and option is my favorite word because that gives you a choice you have the option to not watch don't turn my page off you don't don't write me don't call me and tell me oh you know you really shouldn't have said that I was offended because if you were offended somebody else probably wasn't and you have the option to not look just don't look it's that simple if you don't like what I said or if you don't like the subject matter if it made you uncomfortable don't watch it so now my first subject for today and I don't give advice those of you who know me who are always asking me for advice I don't give advice what I do is I will let you work it out yourself I'll give you something to ponder because a lot of times you already know the answer you just need to hear it from somebody else or hear it out loud to help you make the decision but who am I I can't make a decision especially a life decision and most of the times they are relationship decisions I don't have a man I want a man but right now I don't have a man so who am I to tell somebody else about a relationship when I don't have a man myself you know and even if I did have a man I still wouldn't butt into someone else's relationship as I would not want you to butt into mine I don't need to hear your opinion in any relationship the two people that are in the relationship are the only two people who really know what's going on everyone else is on the outside looking in and only the two people in the relationship can decide if they want to continue the way that they are going in that relationship you get to a point where it's like you know I told my ex we've been doing this for all this time um, we're not getting no better I don't like you you don't like me we used to but you know it gets to a point where people change people have different priorities people have um, different goals and you find you're, you're just not on the same page anymore 
So why stick together? Why stay? Just because society says that you should be coupled up and you've been coupled up for all this time. I have so many friends that have been married 25, 30 years that are getting divorced right now. And it's cool because they've already done the, um, you know, having the family, having the home, and they're still young enough to get out and have a second chance. You know what I mean? A second chance. So, like I said, I don't give anybody any advice. But the question was posed, and it's a very good question. Because if you're not married, you're single, right? Even if you are in a relationship, you're still single, right? So are you open game is the question. The question was actually a woman saw a man on Facebook in one of the groups. You know how they have There's so many groups out there. And it was a relationship group. She saw a man. She's never met him. However, she's liked his responses to the form questions over months that she's been on this group with him and his relationship status says in a relationship however it doesn't say that he's married so she's wondering since he's not married he's in a relationship don't know if it's a living relationship or not she didn't tell me i don't think she knows um but her question is, can she let him know she's interested? That was a tough one for me. Because um, I know when I'm in a relationship, I'm in a relationship. And I expect him to be in a relationship too. A relationship as you don't need to look for a girlfriend because you got one. You know what I mean? So that's a tough one. So that's the question for today. If someone is technically single because they are not married, but they have a girlfriend or a boyfriend, I don't know how what the long the um, how long they've been in this relationship. But they have a relationship, but they are not married to the person. Is it okay for another person to let that person know that they're interested? So hit me up send me a message eventually in months to come I'll get the editing software down and all that kind of stuff and I'll have it I I don't know um, if I'll be able to have links or whatever but you know I'll explore that I haven't done that yet so that you will be able to just like contact me right away so just send me a message I I'm pretty sure, I'm not looking at the page, but I'm pretty sure there is a place to either send messages or post something. And I'm going, I'm going to try and post this question also. So, Happy New Year. It's January 4th. I'm going to try my best to keep this page up. I'll be coming at you periodically with questions. If you have a question, I'll ask it. I will ask the questions that everyone is afraid to ask. So let me know what your question is, what the subject matter is, and we will talk about it. So until next time, this is Syl, keeping it real.